Okay. Um, so everyone feel welcome to relax. And um, breathe as you normally enjoy breathing. If there is any part of your body that is feeling painful or uncomfortable or itchy, you know, acknowledge it. If you're welcome to stretch it whenever or don't worry if you need to move or rustle at any point in this experience. Pay attention to your feet. Give your feet permission to relax. You do not need to relax your feet. You do not need to manage them. Just give them permission to relax all on their own. And you'll notice the energy that's in your legs very comfortably and naturally starts flowing through your feet. And as that energy flows, the energy in your core, your hips and your core start to flow through your legs, through your feet. And you feel your shoulders, your lungs and your heart awaken and flow with energy flowing through your body, through your legs, through your very relaxed feet. Very naturally, as your feet relax, the top of your head is also welcome to relax. It may already have done so. You may feel the top of your head is light, airy, a little tingly feeling as your crown opens. The energy is flowing in through the top of your head, through your body, down through your hips, your legs, through your feet, deep into earth. Like a river flowing down a mountainside. The energy is flowing through your being. If you have any blocks, don't worry. The energy is flowing. It will flow around or through the blocks or pick them up, carry them away. Just as the river does, any boulders or sticks that get in the way. Give your body permission to breathe and flow. You may feel naturally that the energy also emanates from your body, like fog rising up from the river, flowing all around you. As this energy is flowing through your body, you may look up and see that the energy, this beautiful divine flow of energy, is coming down from yourself, from your higher self, and all of your past lives are sending their love and their best emanations, their most beautiful, friendly, happy frequencies down into you, through the top of your head, flowing through your body, through your feet, deep into earth. With all this energy flowing, you may feel your root chakra expand 
to allow your crown chakra to grow well supported. Give your root chakra permission to expand whenever and however much it wishes or needs or desires so that it may always give optimal base of support to all of this beautiful energetic flow. And this allows your crown chakra to grow upward ever higher to receive full energetic flow from your higher self and your past lives down through your body, filling you, flowing through you, emanating from you, glowing, flowing, deep into your profound root chakra, flowing into earth. As your body is flowing with energy, I invite your mind to visit to this mountain stream that we were talking about just a moment ago, standing beside it on a mountain. Look around this mountain the beautiful flowing mountain stream. What sort of mountain are you on? Is it timberland, arctic, tropical? Is it tall and craggy or rolling and filled with meadows? Look around this mountain Feel the ground beneath your feet. What sort of soil are you on? Is it loamy, filled with moss like the Scottish mountain moors? Or is it tropical? Red clay, rocky? Look at the plants growing on this soil. Smell the aroma rising up from the lush or sparse greenery. Breathe in deep. Feel the air on your skin. How is the temperature? If you are uncomfortable in the temperature, invite the temperature to adjust. Create a pocket of comfort just for you. Look up at the sky. How are the, how are the sky? What kind of time of day or night is it? What is up above you? Is it daytime, nighttime? Are there clouds? If it's daytime, where is the sun? Rising, setting, high above you. If it is nighttime, look at the stars.
give yourself a moment to really feel this mountain environment. Listen to the sounds of the animals around you, the birds, the calling of the animals, four-legged, two-legged, swinging through trees or climbing, flying in the air, burrowing in the ground. Feel the environment. Look around you at the vista. What is the land around you? How far can you see in all directions? Go to the mountain river with the beautiful flowing energy, the water. Do you hear, is it babbling or is it a roar? Go to the edge of the water. Feel how the soil becomes a little more moist as you get closer, your, your feet Sink a little deeper into the ground. Go to the edge of the river. And look upon it. Gaze down the mountain. Can you see how far the river flows? Are there any waterfalls? Look up the mountain, down the mountain, and off to the vista. Where does this river come from? Where does it go to? Do you see any life around the river? Any fishes swimming in it? Any animals fishing for their dinner? Birds circling above? Is there anyone drinking from the water? Or building dams? If you'd like, you can kneel down beside the river, scoop some water into your hands and drink from the beautiful, cool, moist, refreshing liquid. Now I would like you to rise up and as you look around this beautiful mountain, you see just off in the distance, there's a cave. I want you to walk through the cave, walk to the cave. As you are walking, 
Notice the terrain that you walk upon. How your feet feel as they rise up and push back down upon the ground. Any breeze. The sounds of birds singing. Before you know it, you have arrived at the mouth of the cave. Look at this cave. How big is the mouth? Can you walk boldly in? Is it a cavern? Or is it a little hole in the ground that you need to burrow through? Notice the entryway. Put your hand up and feel it. As you step into the cave, put your hand on the wall of the cave. You can feel how this is an ancient space. Many ceremonies of divine love. Many ceremonies of nature magic and angelic healing have been held here. This is a very powerful high frequency, ancient cave filled with divine magic. Look around the cave. You will find crystals growing here. Step deeper into the cave. And as the light of the outer world diminishes, you will see the crystals that line the cave have a beautiful light glowing all of their own. These are not just crystals, they are living crystals that record history and retain magic crystals that will help guide your way as you go forward on your journey deeper into this ancient, powerful, magical cave. Walk forward on the path ahead. You'll find yourself going into a large crystal crusted cavern, giant crystals growing in all directions. It is a magnificent space filled with the most powerful energy receptors one could imagine. Crystals so large you could not even climb upon them. The energy is thick with all of the mandalas and chakras that are being created by all the energy flowing from one crystal face to another. Take a moment and look at these crystals. Feel the energy. There's a vibration in this room, in this beautiful grand cavern. As you listen, you can hear the crystals singing. They are singing the song of life. 
for life begins with energy and it is the song of love. Let yourself absorb the frequency of these crystals as you walk around laying your hands upon them. Touching them. Letting the energy of them flow into you. Fill your being. Listening to the crystalline song of life. As your path takes you through the cavern, you see ahead a stairway, a stairway that goes up along the side of the far wall of this grand chamber. You approach this stairway that is carved into the stone wall, but you feel very safe climbing it. So take a step up and another as you walk up the stairway through the wall of the grand chamber. Each step taking you higher and higher as you go from being among the crystals to walking up, rising up higher and higher, looking down upon them. And of course, these massive crystals are growing from all the walls, all the walls and the ceiling and the floor. And as you walk up, you can see greater and greater the matrix of energy flowing between them. And you're looking down upon the crystals and the energy. With each step up, you feel more and more like you are floating. Floating from one step to the next, being raised up on the energy of these extraordinary crystals the energy that becomes even more and more palpable, more dense as it is raising you up. The songs of the crystals rise up with you. Until you reach the top of this stairwell, and you look down on all of the extraordinary stratified crystals, looking down upon this beautiful, majestic geode of life. Take it in, breathe it in. And then turn and go through the doorway at the wall here at the top of the stairwell. You walk through this doorway with the crystals behind you. going forward through a deep hallway here in the core of the mountain. Walk forward through the hallway step by step you'll notice 
even though you are deep in this magical mountain, the hallway forms itself to be the hallway you wish it to be. Allow the hallway as you go further and further along to shape itself to be your hallway. What do the floors look like? The walls, ceiling, what color is it? Where does the light come from? Walk further down your hallway. Each step further As you walk through your hallway, you'll notice up ahead, there's a door. As you look upon the door and you look beyond it, you see the entire hallway is filling with doors. Doors to the left, to the right. There may even be doors on the floor or in the ceiling. Each door, when you look upon it, takes a unique shape and form. Give yourself a moment to explore your hallway and the doors. Walk along, look at one door after another, and notice, even if from a distance, if they all look alike, when you put your focus on a door, it takes a shape unique for itself. Each doorway is a portal to one of your past lives. As you connect with the door, you will see information, energy of that life. Walk through the hallway until you find a door that you feel connected with. It may be a door that's lighting up to get your attention or a door that is calling to you or a door that your heart or another chakra pulls you to. Allow yourself to find your way to your first doorway. Look at this door. Stand before it. What does your door look like? What material is it made from? Put your hand on the door. What does it feel like under your fingers? Is it rough or smooth? Is there a coolness or a heat to it? Is it wide and grand, narrow? How old does it feel? Does it feel ancient or recent?
Is there any aroma that emanates from it or any feeling within your body that responds to it? Reach your hand to the door, open it, and walk through to the other side of the doorway. When you get through, give yourself a moment to acclimate. Give your senses a moment to acclimate. Relax and just let your body absorb. Give your body a moment to take it in and adjust. Whichever of your senses awakens first, invite that sense to activate. Relax and let it flow open. Where are you? What sort of environment are you in? Are you indoors or outside? Is it a beautiful environment or a frightening one or a humble one? Fancy? Allow your environment to flow in. Look at yourself in whatever way looking is, whichever senses are prominent. What sort of clothing are you wearing? At this moment, are you young? or old? Are you healthy? How do you feel? Are you happy? What is your emotion? What is your physical feeling? Are you male or female? Is there anyone with you? Humans, animals, are you alone? Whatever comes through in whatever way, accept it acknowledge it and invite it to bloom forward. Take a moment to connect with and communicate with whoever you are, wherever you are, whether you are in your body or outside of it at the moment. Take a moment, be one with your experience. Explore. If you'd like, you can speak with your past life, those around you. Ask your past life why this moment is important.
is your past lives name if they are happy to share it if it works if not don't worry invite your past life to take you to another time that is relevant for his or her life paths progress. If at any point you find yourself stuck in a moment, ask the life to take you forward. Ask your life to take you forward to another important moment in life. Now I would like you to go to your final moments of life and to your death moment. Don't be afraid. This has already occurred in time. If there was any trauma of the moment, understand you do not need to be part of the trauma. Just awareness of the experience. In these final moments, was your life alone or with others? Was it a natural passing? An accident? A murder? Be with your life as your life goes through the final moments. As your life passes from the final moment <coughs> and the soul of your life rises up from the body, ask the soul how he or she feels about the life they live.
And as that light soul rises up, join with the soul and rise up, back up through the doorway, back through the door, to the hallway, and with the two of you standing there beside each other, in the hallway, watch as the door closes itself and look again at the door, the material it's made from, any sounds or aromas. Is there anything written on the door or any decoration? Both of you put your hands on the door together. If you'd like, you can even embrace each other. Ask the soul of that life for any final words for you, words of wisdom or friendship or compassion. Give each other a fond farewell for now, knowing that you can always meet again now that you have been so connected. And it's time for you to turn your attention back to your hallway. Walk your hallway a bit, looking for your next door. If you need a moment to just return to yourself as you're walking through the hallway, that's all right. You can catch up with the group at any time you're ready. Walk the hallway, looking and feeling for your next door. Notice as you turn your attention on any door, it will reveal itself to you. But one door in particular is calling out to you at this moment. There may be several calling, but one is calling stronger, saying, come to me, come to me. Approach that door and give yourself a moment. Does this feel like a door I wish to go through at the moment? Look at this door. What does it look like? What material is it made of? How is it decorated? Are there any smells or sounds? Put your hand upon the door Open it and walk through. Where are you? Give yourself a moment to acclimate. Give your senses a moment to also acclimate, resonate with the new environment.
whichever sense opens up first, acknowledge it and invite it to expand. Do you have any timeline that you feel you're in? Look around. Are you indoors or outside? Are you in a grand environment? A religious environment, scholarly, political? Indoors, outdoors? Are you on a farm or a hovel? Give yourself a moment to resonate with your environment. And then look at yourself. What are you dressed as? Are you male or female? Are you doing any activity at the moment? Is there anyone around you? Connect with the light that you are with. Ask them why you are here with them. Invite them to bring you forward to this time that you have come to visit. What is it like for you in this life? Do you have any dreams or aspirations? Is there anyone in this life who is very important to you? Ask this life to take you to the next important time in life. Notice what is happening. Why is this time important? If it is a traumatic time, 
be there for the light. As a friend, you do not need at this time to absorb trauma unless you wish to. Go forward again to the next important time in life. Why is this experience relevant? And now, ask this life to bring you to his or her final moments and death time. As this life is going through their final moments and their death, Ask this life to be with you watching from a distance, watching the final moments and talk with you. Ask this life to talk with you about how they felt during this time. Both of you are looking from a distance. Both of you are able to watch without being impacted. And as this life passes, ask the life to show you Go back to the start and show what the life's path was designed to be and how the life path actually was. So you can see what happened by intention and what just happened. So two of you explore his or her life's path together. How much of this life went according to plan? Which of the most traumatic experiences were there to learn a lesson? 
or to be a catalyst for the future life path. Did this life complete his or her karmic lessons? Or are there lessons left hanging that still need to be finished? Invite this life to rise up with you. And both of you flow back up together through the doorway, back to the hallway. Stand together in the hallway looking back at the door you had come through as it slowly closes before you. Look at the door, look at the decoration, the material. Look at it together and discuss it. Ask this life if there is any final words of wisdom or advice or any requests he or she wishes to share with you. If you'd like, you may embrace for a fond farewell, but both of you know that now that this connection has been made, you can be there with each other and for each other whenever you wish. Now turn back to the hallway. And look around for our third final doorway. You'll see many doorways with many designs made of many material, but one is calling to you loudly, clearly, glowing, calling for your attention. Approach this doorway, look at it, put your hand up and feel the door. What material is it made of? What does it feel like? Is there any decoration or writing? Are there any sounds or smells that come from it? Put your hand upon the door, open it, and step through. Where are you at this moment? Which senses are first activated? Do 
Notice your environment. Notice your gender. Are you male or female? What sort of clothing are you wearing? Look at your hands and your feet. Look at your body. Is there anyone there with you? Are there any sounds or sights around you that are relevant? What are you doing now? And why? Talk with yourself of this life and go forward with whatever moment you have brought in, been brought in to participate with. Do you have a name? A family? Do you have any hopes or dreams? this life to take you forward to the next relevant moment. Is this moment pleasant or traumatic? Experience it, sending love and empathy towards the life that is sharing with you. Ask this life to take you forward again to another moment that 
was meaningful to this soul of light. this life if there is anything they wish to tell you about why you had this life and why this life feels connected to you in your life. this life to share with you his or her final moments and death. Was it a natural passing? Friendly, happy, hostile? How old was your life? Was your life alone or with people? As your life, this past life, passes, the two of you rise up together, back to the doorway, to the hall. As you rise up together, and you go through the doorway into the hall. Both of you stand together looking at the door as it naturally, slowly closes on its own. Look at the doorway again. Is it the same or are there any subtle changes in the design, the materials. Do you see how the design of this door is resonant with the life that you just lived? At this moment, your past life says to you, come with me and leads you a short way down the hall where you find off to the side a comfortable little sitting area with comfortable seats. And in the center of this sitting area is a lovely little sacred fire. Your past life motions for you to sit 
And you'll notice as your past life sits, the other two past lives that you have just visited also come forward and sit. The four of you sit together and look upon each other with loving kinship. You realize how extraordinary you are. You also notice there is a fifth seat empty in this circle. Your past lives tell you we are calling another life here to join us. They give you the instruction. You will call out. Call out to the oldest, earliest life you can connect with. This may be the first time you incarnated on Earth. It may be your first human incarnation or someone you incarnated before humans even existed. It may be an incarnation before Earth even existed. Or it may be just the oldest life you can connect with at this moment. But your past lives instruct you, call to the oldest incarnation you can connect with to come and join us here in this sacred circle gathered around the sacred fire. Allow your heart to open up and call out to this life. Allow your chakras to be open, your crown chakra to be open and your root energy flowing fully receptive to whatever comes forward and you see in the distance someone is approaching all of you welcome as someone approaches sits in the empty fifth chair invite this life to share their story to share why they had chosen this life you may ask any questions you'd like you may ask them are you the first life or were there more before you Take a moment, connect, and converse, all five of you. your lives if they have any advice for you or requests of you.
again now. It is time for you all, each of you, to rise up. Step away from the sacred fire so that you may all give each other one large circular group hug. And as your past lives are ready to return to their space of being, each of them will turn to you stand before you, each in turn place their hands upon your heart and give you a kiss on your cheek, your forehead, an embrace. As your lives return to their space of being, you know that you are connected. You can call them to you anytime you wish or need. And know that they are here. These are the lives that came forward because they feel connected with you in this life. Feel this in your heart and bring it with you as you drift back down from this nether realm into your physical body. Give yourself a moment to return to self and let all this energy resonate Bring itself back into your body and your space. You may wish to wiggle your fingers and toes a little. Remind the 3D physical that it is also part of your being. Wiggle around a little. Stretch. And when you are ready, you may open your eyes and return to us.